And welcome to a venue that began its existence as a cricket ground back in 1855. Football's been played here since 1862, Bramall Lane in Sheffield. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Sheffield United versus Nottingham Forest. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Well, it's a defensive-looking lineup, but if the wing-backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other they should still cause problems today. The starting 11 for Nottingham Forest then. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3-4-3. And I think we'll see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. And now they get the ball rolling. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Lewis Graben. Giving the ball away. An awful lot of green space to run into. Powderham. Determined defending. Player in the way again. And a bad pass it was. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Yates. Spence. Graban. Offside, a tight one. Oliver Norwood, Sharp, Morgan Gibbs-White, a very good tackle, Graban, it's with Garner, well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game, moving the ball forward with purpose, Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Morgan gives White. And it's with Gibbs White. Can he put it in? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Spence. Worrell. Ryan Yates. Graban. 
Yates. It's with Garner. They really look after the ball when they have it. Graban. Zinka Nagel. Extremely sloppy in possession. Connor Hurahan. Bogle. Patient build up at the moment. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. It's with Garner. Ryan Yates. There to take it away. Connor Hurahan. Crossed in there. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Worrell. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Oliver Norwood. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Lewis Graben. Garner. Yates. Zinker Nagel. Ryan Yates. Graban. Pretty straightforward defending, dealing with that cross. Can he finish? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge. Johnson has it. Can they get in behind them? Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Spence. And players waiting in the centre. Graben. Promising possession, this. Garner. 
Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Zinkernagel. And there to intervene. Well, the stats confirm what we've been seeing. Sheffield United haven't controlled the play so far, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Thank you. Sharp. And they've given him too much space. Being egged on by the fans. Superb block. And they're making a change. Coming off the pitch, number 24, Conor Horahane. Coming onto the pitch, number 8, Sanderberg. Corner kick played in. Well, no end product. Ben Davis. And he read it well defensively. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Spence. Crossing opportunity. Steve Cook. Garner. Ryan Yates. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Really good interception. Really good high press. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Well, we've entered the final five minutes. Sharp. A creative look about this. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, threat over for now. Raban, Philipp Zinkernagel. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Yates. And that is the end of the contest, and it's the Blades fans who'll go home happy following this result. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.